Hello, I'm Runya, aka Media Adaptation, and welcome back to Moderation on Media for a Game. And we're back with another part of Two Sentence Horror Stories. We had a nice response from our first video on the subject, so we decided to make a follow up. We're not sure if we're going to try this to do a weekly thing or not, but I guess we'll see how well they do. Again, the concept is to break down a story to its base parts and still remain the essence of a horror story. So we selected 20 more entries from the subreddit as well as their comments section, as well as the joke one at the end. So anyway, let us begin. After hours of watching her phone battery drain to 1%, Shanice was shocked to finally see a bar of signal. 911, what's your emergency? Was all she heard before her phone died, leaving her tiny cell as dim as her hope of survival. The distant sound of steel drums retreated into the night. My mouth filled with salt water as I realized the cruise ship wasn't turning around. Since she'll never function as a member of society, the legal guardians will testify against her sanity to have rights removed on her 18th birthday and she'll remain in state care. The same care that broke her bones and her will to live. The night at the morgue was supposed to be quiet, yet something inside Slab 8 was furious. Everyone always says how they love how clear my skin is and always question how I get it so smooth. I can never tell them that it's not my skin. The monster dove back under the bed as soon as my bedroom door opened. When I saw the knife in my father's hands, I started to think that I should have done the same. What a difficult burden it is for a parent to have to bury their own child. It wouldn't be so bad if they'd stop squirming so much. It was a sad day seeing the missing persons report of my sister circulating through the neighborhood. But when I got home later that night, my sadness turned to fear as I heard muffled screams for help in the attic. When I sold my soul to Satan for him to make me famous, I guess I wasn't specific enough. As the crowd chanted, burn the witch, over and over again, I realized that he held up his end of the deal. The creature stroked my hair, with claws drenched in my father's blood. I weeped with joy, knowing that my mother's killer was finally punished. Alright, if we ration our food correctly, the four of us should be able to survive just until help arrives, the group leader said to his fellow survivors. Don't you mean five? I knocked and cried for him to open the door begging him to believe me that he wasn't the last man on earth. He reluctantly opened, to see me smiling from both of my mouths, realizing too late that he was right. You have this weird habit of running up the stairs after turning off the lights. Do you honestly think I'd wait for a silly light? I'll haunt the fuck out of you when you die, we used to joke. but. Seeing the fear in his eyes, as you look at what I have become, I can't help but smile. When angels commit an unforgivable sin, they are banished from eternal paradise and are born into a life of misery and suffering. And we wonder why babies are born screaming. I don't know what scares me more, whether it's hearing a voice saying, help me, at four in the morning or that I recognize it as my own voice, and it's coming from the closet. I put on the creepy old hand puppet I found at the antique store, hoping to scare my little brother. It worked beautifully, but now I can't seem to take the stupid thing off, and my brother won't stop screaming. I kept hearing a weird gurgling sound from my sink and bathtub drains. I called the plumber and the sound has gone quiet. The plumber guy hasn't come back though, 
and now there's blood coming from the faucets. It's late at night, and I'm home alone. At least, I think I'm alone. I feel safe under the covers in my bed. That was, until I felt the mattress breathing. His friend snickered and handed Kevin an old porno mag for him to peruse. When Kevin got to the centerfold, he shrieked, Mom? Again, if the video does well, then we might try for another one next week. So, I guess I'll see you then. And that about does it for this video. If you have any other ideas like seeing made to a video, then please post it down in the comments below, and we'll add it to our next video request week. It's now time for the part of the show, where we ask you to help us appease the YouTube algorithm by dropping a like, share, or comment. It helps out much more than you'd think. And if you haven't subscribed yet, then it's very much appreciated. And if you'd like to support this channel, then please visit our Patreon. Link will be down in the description below. Even if you can't give a lot, every little bit helps. Oh, we also started up a Let's Play channel. So, if you want to see us try out some horror games, then feel free to stop on by. Link will be in the card, as well as in the description. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Anyway, I'm Runya. And I'm Ada. Remind you to take life in moderation. Weep not for children, for life is this way. Children, it must be this way